In this presentation, we will show how to design a drill pair foundation. To begin with, we must create a foundation definition. In the Tower Model Explorer, expand the foundation definition group, right click on the drill pair foundation and click on the create new drill pair foundation. This will launch a wizard with the default design parameters. There are four tabs to set up the definition. Let's start with the first tab, which is drill pair foundation. This tab is used to assign legs to be designed as drill pair foundation. User must click on the apply button to save the assignment. For guide towers, there is an additional option to assign this definition to one or more guy anchor point. For drill pair foundation, users can create multiple definition. Hence, the definition ID must be unique. Next tab is to define soil parameters. Expansive soil force is a special input to add extra pressure for expansive soil conditions. Water table depth is measured from the top of the surface. To ignore the effect of water table in design calculation, we can input a large R value. Depth is to specify the bottom elevation of a layer, which is measured from the top of the surface. Total soil unit weight is the dry density of soil. Program supports three different types of soils, which are cohesionless, cohesive, and silty soil type. For cohesional soil, most important parameter is friction angle. Similarly, for a cohesive soil, cohesion must be entered. For silty soil, both inputs are required. The ultimate skin friction for both compression and uplift are automatically calculated using other soil properties, including blow count. However, depending on the geotechnical report, user can override auto calculated values. Bearing capacity is required to calculate the tip resistance, so required for the last layer only. Moving on to the next tab, which is drill pier properties. This is used to define all the geometrical and reinforcement properties of the pier. The pier height above the ground is the pier height extended above the surface. Segment length is the length used to divide the pier in small segment. For this example, we have used 2000 segments. The program supports varying section profiles. You can create as many section profiles as needed, having different diameter and reinforcement. User can define multiple river cages for a given section profile. The river cage diameter for the first section is non-editable and is auto-calculated by the program. Last tab is the material properties, which is used to input material properties like steel grade, concrete grade, and concrete density. To design foundation, right click on the activated scenario and click on foundation design. Program automatically iterates through different load combinations for each leg and guy anchor points to find critical loads for different foundation design criteria. To review output, right click on the activated scenario and click on the foundation output. It designs for lateral, axial, and pier flexor. The program reports governing load cases for each criteria, along with the demand, capacity, and rating for each support points. It also displays a graph comparing calculated moment versus moment capacity along the length of the pier. Foundation report is automatically added to the final tower analysis report. Thanks for watching.